Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to learn about the canine guided occlusion. When you move your mandible laterally and only the maxillary and the mandibular canine touch, that is they guide the occlusion, it is the canine guided occlusion. Now why canine? Canine is suitable for taking this load because remember dental anatomy, they have the longest root of all. Also, they are far away from TMJ. So the farther the tooth is from the joint, the lesser the force is on the tooth, right? Now, one question that might be popping in your mind is why canine? Why not incisors? So if you know the answer, comment below. Now, when only canine touch and rest of the back teeth are out of occlusion, around two thirds of the elevator muscles shut down. So it decreases the non-axial load on the canine. Also, the posterior crown and teeth will not be subjected to friction because obviously they're not in contact and thus the anatomy will be preserved. If you like this video, do give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel.